And welcome back to Do's and Don'ts. This is the program that gives you good advice for life and whatnot. I'm your host, John Georges. And this morning we discuss the long-lost art of sex scandal apology. Now, in this day and age, everyone occasionally conducts, you know, sexually charged online exchanges with multiple women. I mean, it's just commonplace. But sometimes that makes an apology necessary. If so, do keep it simple and direct. Like so. At the outset, I'd like to make it clear that I have made terrible mistakes that have hurt the people I care about the most, and I'm deeply sorry. Okay, here's a neat trick. If you're afraid to look bad, do try to entice the worst human being on earth to make an appearance before you take the microphone. <laughs> what am I talking about? Let me show you. I want to hear the truth. I want to hear the truth from Congressman Winter. Okay, then do see if you can get that person to make it all about themselves. Quite frankly, I'd like an apology. It does help if the person in question is self-absorbed to an absolutely absurd degree. 72 hours in Palm Springs with your family is excruciating. But if you find yourself doing the warm-up <laughs> act for someone else's apology... Here's the don't. Don't forget that self-righteousness. I'm doing this to save his family. And extortion oh don't God. mix. And if this guy wants to start fighting with me again, I have this photo. Okay, that's it for this edition of Do's and Don'ts. I'm your host, John Georges. We hope you'll join us for our next episode, <laughs> Driving Etiquette, when conducting a mistake-filled bus tour of historical sites. We've got some great examples, too. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Now this from your local station. ta <laughs> Yes, Breitbart did this to save Anthony Weiner's family. That's why he did this. It has nothing to do with the fact that Anthony Weiner would spend his entire life screaming at the top of his lungs to defend everything that Breitbart would be against and stand uh, on a soapbox d d screaming on the top of his lungs about. It has nothing to do with that. Oh, no, he did it to save his family because Breitbart really cares about Anthony Weiner's new marriage. He really cares about it. He didn't care about Newt's marriages. He didn't care about Rudy Giuliani's marriages. He didn't care about John Ensign's marriage. He didn't care about Larry Craig's bathroom escapades or Vitter's, you know, prostitution or Sanford falling in love and lying about the Appalachian. He didn't care about any of those things. He doesn't care that Pete Sessions goes to strip clubs and says that there's no nudity in the strip club. He doesn't care about... Uh, anything. He doesn't care that the Republican National Committee is doing fundraisers in strip clubs in Hollywood that feature lesbian S&M bondage queens. No problem with any of that. Only with Anthony Weiner, uh, Weiner's Twitter page. This is what's obsessing him. You know, I, I'm so tired of, the, of, of them. You know, at least Anthony Weiner showed that he felt shame yesterday, said he was embarrassed. Uh, it did take him a while to, you know, reconcile in his head. Uh, what he was going to have to put himself through, that he was going to have to be publicly embarrassed. He was going to have to basically be the 21st century version of Tartan and Feathered. And then Breitbart gets up on the stage and hijacks his uh, apology. Uh, it, it was the weirdest thing I've seen uh, ever, ever. And then he goes on Matt Lauer this morning and Breitbart lies, lies. Absolutely lies. He said that the only reason why he did this was because Anthony Weiner said his, his, his Twitter account was hacked. He was on vacation with his family in Palm Springs, and it was excruciating for him because he was on the phone too much. Sexting? And uh, frankly, Matt Lauer caught him and said to him, but wait a minute, you posted that picture before he said anything, before the reason why he said uh, you know, anything about he was hacked or it was a prank was because you posted the picture. He goes, yeah, I know. Yes, that's right. But I did this to save his family. Save your own skin, okay? Stop worrying so much about Anthony Weiner's family.